right, so I went down, hooked up to the trailer. See it hanging out the back of the truck there. Um, what we're going to do is I'm loading up the gasser on the truck, on the trailer tomorrow morning. We're taking it down to R&R. &R. Uh, they're going to do the roll bar finally for tomorrow. Uh, I'm excited about getting that much of it done. Um, I didn't put the floor pans in yet. So what they're going to do is since they got to cut the floor pans out of this thing to weld bars in, they're just going to pop those pans in. So if you were looking forward to seeing me uh, weld them in and mess them up or whatever, you know, uh, not going to get to see that. They're going to do it for me. So I am going to try to get some video on that, but we shall see. So anyway, um, all thing we got to do is get it loaded up tomorrow. All right, we're loaded up, and uh, it was a little icy this morning, so give it a little time to defrost, but I just strapped the car in there, and we're ready to book. All right, the car's all loaded up, and the garage is empty. I have three hot rods, and not one of them in the garage right now for winter, so I guess a good time to tear the rest of this floor up, or what I'm tearing up. And clean it up, but empty garage, amazing. All right, we're getting ready to hit the road. All right, guys, thanks for checking into the video. Um, just giving you a quick update, let you know where we are, where things are at right now. Um, as you've seen, we took the 55 gasser down to R and R. It's going to have the new cage put in, um, and like I said, they're going to even do the floor. They have to cut the whole floor out anyway to get the, the fur front section of the roll bar in. So they might as well drop the pans in and put that back in. So I should be able to get that back um, maybe about a week to a week and a half. Uh, earlier today, I also um, took the Dream Cycle. It's been at my buddy's house because he had a lift. So while it was on the lift, uh, cleaned, totally cleaned up underneath the car. I got everything cleaned and back to really nice condition. Did some paint work on that underneath. And we also lowered it about an inch, inch and a half. So it's... In the back, it just had a little rake on it, and now it's nice and level. So I'll get some video of that too, um, show you some of that. And uh, then after, also when it was down there, I was having issues with uh, driver's side glass that it would just split. I mean, it just you put it in there, everything be good to go, and then just split. So maybe you guys are having the same issue. And and uh, I'll tell you what we did. Um, we tore the door apart. We replaced the glass again. But we put all new cranks on both sides, 
the whole crank mechanism, put all new guide glide rails and all new glass into it. And uh, I'll let you know if it works. Hopefully it does because the glass is, it's not so much the glass, but the shipping, it cost me a hundred bucks to get it to my house. So anyway, um, th th my buddy Jeff was there with me on that one. I appreciate Jeff for helping me out. Uh, so anyway, I took the dream sickle now to Scott's house. Um, I'll probably pick that up next Sunday because we're going to um, Motorama. If, no, if anybody wants to look this up, go ahead and look this up. Motorama in Harrisburg. So what this is, is it's a car show. Um, it's motocross. It's go-kart racing. Um, they have, man, let me think. Uh, the little mini sprint cars. They have RC cars. They have robot wars. I don't even know. I might be missing stuff. Check it out. But anyway, the Dream Sickle is going to be in that show. It's February the 14th, I believe that date is. So, um, yeah, we had a lot going on this week. And stuff's just basically being moved around and just and you know getting things situated and get into place. So, uh, again, not to drag this video out. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you don't mind, hit the sub button. And we'll see you on the next one. Motorama is going to be a good show.